Hey everybody, it's Jilly. I need Spoo. So Spoo is going to get a bath in Hydra's Whitening Shampoo and then Opa's Pink Shampoo. So I'm going to make my poodle pink poodle. I'm very excited. So I just got it upside down because the last time I used it, it was kind of hard to get out. So first we're starting. I had to get a rinser because she's a wicked dirty. So um, I'm actually getting three baths. One with the product that I have in Hydra Surge here. Is, she is like filthy. Filthy. Like she smells dirt. <laughs> she smells like dirt. She's a good girl. Um, I've had her about, oh, today is four weeks. It's been a month. It's our month anniversary. It's our gotcha day. And it's late though. Um, but I couldn't hold it off any longer because she was just really dirty. So I figured I'd make a creative video about how to use Opa's Funky Color Shampoo. Featuring Spoop. Done here. <laughs> this girl has got like, her top knot is like cotton. You put your head and your hand in it, oh man, it is so thick. But I'm drawing her out so that she can be my creative competition dog. But I also need to use her as a marketing tool to help um, let clients know that they can get creative in a temporary way in my salon. So, Spoo is living, breathing advertising through my creative uh, add-ons in the shop. And I just brushed her all out. But wow, the stuff that's in her coat, like, I have a nice backyard and I don't care if she's white or not, I just let her be a dog. But, um, she's really, really dirty. And I just couldn't wait anymore. I get tired of dirty, dirty dog smell in my, uh, bed. <laughs> so I changed all my sheets. This morning, and I'm like, no, no dirty dogs are going to be getting in my bed tonight. So, in this bath master, um, I have it on clean, and you can see the there are four lines here with four different products. Ah. You're a shaker? So I gave her one bath. Her first bath with me was with the Chris Christensen whitening system. I loved it. Okay? But I'm out. And right now I don't have enough to uh, buy it. Plus, I want to make her pink. So I'm just going to use Hydra's Whitening Shampoo. Um, this is a 10 to 1 ratio. And I know that this is diluting the product a little bit because she's wet. Normally I would have applied it dry, but she's just so dirty that I wanted to use the uh, Bathmaster bathing system to get some shampoo in there first. I'm not giving her a cut because I'm letting her grow out, but I did just do her nails. So I'm saturating her with this whitening shampoo. You can tell she's thrilled. I like these bottles because the nozzles are really small so you can get pretty specific about where you want the product and you don't have to worry about squirting it right in their eyeballs. Get it all in her ears. God, she's so dirty, you guys. It's like, she's gonna feel so much better. 
and like it was just embarrassing today my clients that met her for the first time and she was so dirty so this is empty I will clean it rinse it put a little bleach in it um, I have used barbicide also and that will sit overnight in case you don't ah, already know, uh, my very favorite uh, gadget for baths is the Artero Long Pinned Hand Mitt. This thing is gold. Baths are amazing with it. Every coat, every single one, especially the double coated dogs, because um, I don't know, it just, it's fantastic. Gosh, she stinks. Whew. So I really like how this gets down to the uh, skin and it loosens up all the dead skin cells. And it helps to get a good lather. It's soft. I have found it does not create, see her arch, she arches right up when she's a little apprehensive so it makes her confirmation look off but she's got pretty good confirmation she is a sandy walters poodle if anybody is curious she is smart she is sweet she is sassy she likes to steal food which i am not nuts about but we're training that out of her um, her previous owner told me that she was just a pet, but um, I, her temperament is amazing. So um, I, I can, while I'm scrubbing her up really good here, I can tell you a little bit about Sandy Walters poodles. Okay. So um, her poodles are like at least this, this line, but I, I haven't heard anything else other than great things. Um, Leslie Waldrop found her for me um, because her dog Regal, who she won abstract with at Hershey this past year, 2019, in case you're watching this three years from now on YouTube. Um, so they are from the same breeder. Her temperament is amazing. I can literally bring this dog anywhere, anywhere. And she is quiet, calm in the shop. She is, I mean, she's got the most appropriate play skills Every single dog likes her. Ruby loves her, but is probably pretty glad that it's not her in the tub right now. <laughs> but it will be. So, let me see. Um, yeah, so uh, literally I can bring her anywhere and um, I am gonna get her into some uh, behavior training because she needs it um, for some uh, basic commands. Um, I do want her to be another service dog like Ruby is for me. She can help me. Uh, she's very strong and very fast, but she can help me with things. Uh, she can bear my weight. Uh, she still needs five pounds on her. She, she is a little thin if you can see her hips and her pin bones. Um, I've gotten probably, I would have to say a good pound on her already. I can tell, um, at least a pound, but, um, yeah, I want her to uh, be able to pick things up for me because I do have some physical limitations. Um, God, man, this water is so dirty. So yeah, Sandy Walters poodles, uh, highly recommend. She's incredible. She's one of the most incredible dogs I've ever had. Um, but Ruby, that is nothing to say against my Ru, because the other day the gate got left open accidentally. I have, you know, really, really tall fenced in backyard, not just, you know, chest height, because she could jump over that, no problem. But um, the, the fence was accidentally left open. Um, and the gate part, which is huge. So like you could pull a boat in my backyard, but it was left open a crack and enough 
that when I came home from dropping my son off at school, um, Spoo had gotten into the pantry. She stole food. So that's, an, that's the behavior that I, I'm definitely going to be working on. But um, so I didn't know it. I opened up. I like the Yuppie Puppy Brush for Ears. Okay, it's really good. I just lay the ear right against the body, work the product through. I flip it over, making sure not to get too close to the ear canal, but it helps to get that wax build up off the inner side of the ear flap in the leather. Okay, you can see I do not have soap in her ear, okay? All right, but I do like the Epi Preppy brush for ears pretty much only. girl. Sorry, the horse is in your way that making me nervous. Come here. Um, so, yeah, so I'm cleaning up the food that they got out of the pantry that Spoo did, because Rue would never do that. And I got in and Rue was like, I didn't need any mom, I swear. I was like that when I walked in. But I put him outside, didn't know the gate was open, cleaned up the mess, go outside to get them in, and they're gone. So I'm freaking out. I've only had this poodle for, at that point, I think it was, uh, we were just going into our third week. And I knew the chances of her coming to me might be slim, even though we kind of already bonded. Um, so I get in, the, I grab my purse, I get in the car, I'm getting ready to call the pound. I'm getting ready to go on the next door app to uh, let everybody know that the German Shepherd is a service dog. She didn't have her collar on. I don't keep their collars on when they're in the house um, or in the backyard. And, you know, you see a loose German Shepherd, what's the first thing you're going to think, right? Everybody's going to stereotype. Um, so I was terrified. Because in my state, it is 100% legal to kill a dog that comes on your property that you believe is a threat to you. So just because she's a shepherd, somebody could have shot her if she barked or if they were afraid of her in any way. Um, but they had been probably gone maybe 20 minutes at that point, and... I get in the car, I'm telling people, if you see a dog, two dogs, shepherd and a white poodle, this is where I live. I'm calling the pound. I look up, I'm in the middle of the street with the car. I look up and I see Ruby down the road, literally hurting, like pushing Spoo towards the house. Spoo runs away, Ruby goes back grabs her by the ear, starts dragging her to the house, come. That's enough. Starts uh, dragging her to the house. Um, you know, Spoon says, leave my ear alone. Ruby goes back, grabs her leg, puts her head under her belly, starts dragging her to the house again. Ruby sees me, runs up to me, to show me that she has Spoo, and I'm just sitting here watching this in amazement, and Ruby pretty much herded Spoo back to the house, herded her home, and I was an absolute wreck about all of it, but so proud of Ruby. She is uh, amazing. And they love each other. They snuggle closer and closer every day. Now we just got to get the cats on board. Okay. So there's the first bath. No conditioner because I'm getting ready to apply color. Definitely wear gloves. Um, because it will get on your hands. I have used this before. 
Um, no conditioner because shampoo opens the follicle. I'm kind of nervous. I hope this doesn't come out blotchy. I have two bottles and I don't want to waste one drop of it. Oops, shit, see? Not paying attention. No, 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 no. I need that. Uh. Ah. No, stay still. Stay still. I'm excited to have a pink poodle, you guys. She doesn't seem to be. Come here, girl. It's actually late. Um, it's 8 o'clock. And we would have been home for a few hours now. But um, do I do her face? If so, it's already on there. It's just shampoo, so it will be easy around the eyes. Growing out her face, growing out everything for competition. Blake Hernandez did give her a mink collar cut, so I did think that this color would go really well with that cut, which is one of the reasons I decided to dye her pink. So I'm going to spread this product here in a minute. I might use the Yuppie Puppy brush to spread the product, but. See what I mean? I, no, don't you shake, don't you shake. Did you know that if you hold a dog's ear, you can prevent them from shaking? So I'm gonna tip this upside down to get more out of that. No, too late. Okay, now I'm gonna put some in my hands. Oh, easy baby, easy. It smells good. Try the Yuppie Puppy brush to spread this because she doesn't have much coat at all. It's not bad. Oh, that's not bad at all. Okay, found another use for the Yuppie Puppy brush. Yeah, this is good distribution. way. Uh -uh. Oh. She's like, come on, mom, you already gave me one bath. Why are you doing it twice? Because this is pink spoon.
I've seen this done on some dogs. I'm, I'm, and this is why I'm afraid because I've seen it come out splotchy. So I'm trying really hard to make sure that I get even distribution. And that I don't run out before I get all overdone. Leg, butt, tail. Turn this way, baby. This way. So I used this uh, only once, but I used it on Heidi for her blue leg in her Coco Groom. Um, so that's the only experience I've had with it. So I had plenty to make sure that I had even distribution. And then we're just working fast because like I said, I don't want one part to be more pink than the other as it develops. And it's hard. Ugh. It's hard to tell because the sud is white, you know, the suds, the bubbles. <sighs> My uh, second dog today was matted and I had to shave him and even though I wore a mask, um, even though I wore a mask, the dander still in the air. It affects me, makes my sinuses all plugged up, my right ear plugs up. Oh my God, I hope she loves this. Meaning Spoo. So she's pink head to toe, but now I'm gonna just gonna try to make sure. Like this area, this banded area here, there's not much hair here. Uh, 
Oh, no, don't you dare. Not yet. No, 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 please. No. Should have left her nose white. Yeah, I agree. You should have stopped on your nose, huh? That'll probably fade really fast. Make sure we got this tail. Make sure I got every bit of this girl as pink as possible. So um, the first bath with the Hydra whitening shampoo it, um, and all shampoo, the chemical purpose of shampoo, be it on humans or on animals, is to open the hair cuticle to release and or accept. It'll release dirt and it will also the open cuticle allows it to receive um, color. Remove dirt, receive color. So if I were to condition her before I did this, then the cuticle would be closed and it would not accept as much color. Now, with this shampoo, the longer you leave it in, obviously the more saturated the color will be. I think I've gone through about three songs. Stop licking your face. It was kind of too late once I got the pink. Okay. Now I said this top knot is thick as fuck. So I'm going to make sure she pink. Sorry, baby. And here's the good news. All I have to do is rinse this out and condition her because she's just gotten super duper clean and colored at the same time. Now, technically speaking, you guys can do this if you pick up some Opus semi-permanent, which is temporary, but here's the deal. It's a little more permanent than this stuff. This is supposed to come out like three to four, I've heard five or six washes, which she will definitely have before I get to lay a pattern for competition. Okay. Foxy, stop that part. Pretty 
pretty soon. That last video was 31 minutes long. I imagine the first bath was about 15. Um, then this application. I'm wondering if it's gonna like affect the texture of her coat. some Vaseline around her eyes. I really hope she doesn't come out blotchy. Okay. Then a yuppy puppy brusher one more time. So yeah, so shampoo opens the cuticle to release dirt and accept color. Shampoo, I mean conditioner, closes the cuticle to hold in the color. So this way, good girl. After this, a good conditioner with the thermal active. Hard to tell if it's even or if it suds. Wait. I'm gonna wait another five minutes. When it comes out like kind of like a vintagey pink. back of those paws. They need color too. Come here, baby. Don't slip. Makes me feel terrible when you slip. One more seconds. I don't know 
a rinser. Okay, I'm gonna rinse her. I am also pink. <laughs> I will depink my tub somehow. Go on my floor. Just trying to get all the splatter off before I rinse her. Okay. Let's see, right? Just want to make sure you guys are still running. The water is temperature controlled and warm. She's shaky. Like I said, it's late. But they had their dinner. They had fresh frozen turkey necks. Uh, defrosted turkey necks for supper. Because I feed my dogs raw. Because that's what they're designed to eat. Biologically, physiologically. Emotion. That's the bottom of my computer wet. All right, easy, stay. Very careful of her ears. Here, Spoo. Cannot reach you. I didn't want her too dark. Yeah, the puppy brush will be disinfected. I throw mitt will be disinfected. Tub will be cleaned and disinfected as it is after every dog.
Oh, Sue, I know you've had enough. Okay. Oh, she's pink, guys. It looks brighter, I think, on the video than it does in person. But we'll see when she's dry. So now I'm going to squeeze her out. Okay. I hate to do this to her, but I got a conditioner. She's ready to get out of here. Yes. So I'm just wiping off some of the color. It's on the walls. I don't want a conditioner. Maybe I'll do the ice on ice. Spray conditioner instead. Pink towel, pink spoo, check her ears. I hope it's not raining. My windows are down. Okay. I'm going to condition her. Gonna do it, do it right. Gotta get a lot in that top knot. Flash thermal active conditioner stays on for 30 seconds. So what I usually do in that time is their ears. So the Warren London All Natural Ear Cleaner. I know. When you're cleaning a dog's ears, please remember the canal. Lift the ear up. Hold 
pool owner said she was prone to ear infections, so I'm gonna have to pluck her ears after I dry her. But this is a good way to um, pass those 30, sorry, 90 seconds for the flash thermoactive mask. So we do it every dog. Get some dirt in that ready. Sorry. Okay. Get that dirt in there. So sweet, you guys. And she had some little dirt particles in there, so, but her ears are definitely due for plucking, so that'll be happy. This way. And I got her right. Okay, you ready? Last rinse, Mama. Good girl. Get that condition off. Easy. Stop. Stay. This is a very thick pot mop. Mom's gonna warm you up just a minute, baby. The water's warm, honey. She's not long enough for me to take a brush through her while I'm uh, while I was conditioning her. Coat's not long enough yet, or else I would have done that. And I didn't use the yucky touch brush either. I just realized. Well, I'm tired too. So pretty and so clean and wait till Auntie Delise sees you and your barred elbows. I got all picked out. Let's turn you. Alright, you get the gist. I'm gonna rinse. You guys, I think I have a pink spoo. All right, so I'm gonna use, because I really did like this last time, okay? Um, the Ice on Ice Leave-In Detangler and Finishing Spray, okay? Um, last time I used this on her, it was amazing. Probably in conjunction with the whole white on white system, but I'm gonna give it a shot. instead of the Hydra. She's mad at me. But you love poodles.
Okay, brush through. I don't know what it is, man. It just goes through so smoothly. That's why so many people swear about it, I guess. Swear by it. Like glides, you guys. Watch. And I'm telling you, this dog's top knot is like heaven. Now, you guys can't tell, I don't think, but from where I'm standing, her ears look a bit yellow. Just look, it just glides. She doesn't have much coat, but she's got enough, especially on her lower legs. Look, just gliding. Barely any pressure from the brush. Okay, gonna brush her through and then get to dry. Finish drying her, my Mac is about to die. See the finished product in a little while. 